What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspies. We just sold out 2024 Tops Pristine Baseball 4 Box Half Case Pretty Pikachu's number 3, guys. Remember, guys, all cards shipped. Here's the customer name. Sold out straight up. Chris Butler got Brewers last spot mojo there, guys. It was a group effort, guys. Remember, it is a promo break, guys. And, you know, for the people that are watching live right now, it's good, good news. We took out the luminaries from the promo break, guys. So all we needed to do was sell out Pristine and the uh, Composite Delight Breaks. And guess what? We sold out Pristine. All we have left is the two Composite Breaks. And the first Composite Breaks down to six. And the second's down to 11. And pretty much all the big expensive teams are now gone. So all we have is pretty much teams from $30 to as high as about 50 You could easily get this done, guys. You know, that potential uh, you know investment there can get you a nice hit. But it could also turn in potentially up to $1,000 in break credit, guys. One winner is going to get $750. A couple people are going to get $50 codes. But who says it can't be you, guys? All right, of course, like always, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Get it done, guys. Three. One, two, three. So this side over here will be for number four, which I'll mark it here. I mean, we can still do this tonight if you guys wanted to do the second half, but if not, it'll definitely go tomorrow. Actually, looked like there was like 30 people that showed up. But yeah, I mean, granted, dude, it was a day game too, so that doesn't help. But yeah, kind of hard to root for your team when you already have 100 losses, you know. <laughs> seven it was it actually seventeen total? Swap. Alright, there's a Monaga, there's Ellie. Oh, what a good awareness by Bruner. Coming from his linebacker 
Cunha. Jackson Chirillo frozen ropes. That's going to go to the Brewers. Last one, Mojo Chris. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but at the same time, man, I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i not a fan of theirs, so I wouldn't... Oh, is that a super fractor? Oh my god, we have a super fractor. Super fractor! We'll save that for last. But, um, I don't know, man, I mean, I don't know, are they, I mean, maybe they're frustrated with the team, maybe they, they're, uh, they're fed up with the owner, or, gee, I don't know, fed up with somebody. So they're trying to, trying to, uh basically voice their opinion and voicing their opinion is not showing up to the games you know can you go harder to 150 Jared Jones I just feel like for the Cubs it's a little different though Rex because yes they may have loyal fans and I'm sure they do but I feel like Cubs you know playing in Wrigley is like it's it's like an experience to experience right like kind of like let's go to a Cubs game in Wrigley Field, you know? So they kind of have that to back them up, too, even when they aren't good. You know, it's like going to see the Yankees my Yankee Stadium, or... I don't know. I mean, I don't really know the full situation, but... What's going to help change the organization, you know, with by fans not showing up? All right, guys, here we go. Go to Super Fractor. And it is Jose Soriano, Super Fractor for the Angels. That's going to Chris Butler, staying here locally. I don't know, actually. That's just kind of weird. I would assume if I was a player and the stadium was empty, I'd want to, like, play good to get people to uh, <laughs> come to the games. I don't know, man. Ronnie Mauricio, though, the 70, uh, 7 out of 15, though. I don't really know the whole situation in Chicago, though. Is it more just because they actually suck, or are they fed up with management, you know, ownership? Fed up with the team, maybe for not making the right moves? I don't know, I have no clue. Uh, Matt's going to Joseph. Alright, here we go, first one. Jeets. 72 out of 75. You know, Yankees going to Joe. First autograph here is going to be Jordan Wicks for the Cubs. Charles. And then one of the last few teams taken. How about a little Mason Miller? 68 out of 150 going to Oliver and the A's. Julio uncirculated there. Yeah, maybe that's also a two, Rex. I don't know. I mean, you would know a little bit more than I do. Salvador Perez. And Nick Castellanos, 1099. I mean, it's just kind of like the Angels. You know, they're not great anymore. Or haven't been great anyways, but they don't have Shohei no more. Mike Trout's injured. But fans still show up, but there's not really that many. But then, like I said, I don't know. They do some crazy good deals, like I told you. that I drive by that freaking sign every day to work on the 405. Four tickets, four hot dogs. Four drinks for forty-four dollars. <laughs> I was like, "Bruh, that is a deal, dog!" Like, man, ten bucks gets you a ticket to the game, a hot dog, and a drink. What is this, Costco? I don't know if Chicago does deals like that, but I assume they do. That's such a great deal for the concessions, man. But that's how the Angels are getting you, though. They, they hope that you do bring the fan, and you know you get a free hot dog, or you get a hot dog and a drink, but hopefully you want to drink a beer. 
your kids are probably gonna want like some snacks on top of that, so I get it. But uh, yeah, it is a it is a crazy deal. Oh, sorry. Patch autograph here though. Shane McClanahan. For the Tampa Bay Rays, that's going to Jeff Walker. Yeah, well, that's, that's Costco right there for you, Rex. They make their money on their memberships, obviously, but, you know, Costco stay keeping their hot dogs at $1.50 with a drink and keeping their rotisserie chicken at four ninety nine is going to get people into the store, into the door. And, you know, they'll mark down certain things and they'll take the loss, but there's other things they can make, you know, uh, you know, and other things that's going to make them more money, you know, the cost. Freddie Freeman. Frozen ropes, and then obviously they make money off memberships. But I, I feel like yeah, for Kroger that that makes sense. And whoa, how about a Shohei Otani frozen ropes? That's a uh, eight out of fifty. Hit another home run today, guys. Up to forty four now. I think he's gonna do it. Barring any injuries or anything crazy, no knock on wood, he's he's, he's gonna get to fifty. And I think he might get to fifty stolen bases too. Oh, snap! Why I like it. Oh, snap! Anthony Volpe. Alright, here we go. Stan Musil to 150 for the Cardinals. Joe Musgrove to 75 for the Padres. Sammy Sosa to 75 for the Cubs. Tyler O'Neill to 99 for the Red Sox. And then Alexander Canario for the Cubs to 150. Let's go with the two in case, it's the in case cards now. First one is a Corey Seager for Texas, 75. Texas is going to Evan. We got a Fernando Valenzuela, 22 out of 75 for the Dodgers. It's going to Jeremy. First autograph here is Oslevius for the Rays. Rays was Jeff Walker. We have a Craig Kimbrough, and he was on the Philadelphia Phillies. All-star, uncirculated. We got a Tyler Glass now, 13 out of 99 there for the Dodgers. And then an autograph here of Henry Davis to 99. A little off the top loader there. Pirates, it's going to Evan. Um, I think him getting to the World Series, they'll skyrocket. Um, and if they win, even more. But then it'll die off. But yeah, I think if they get to the World Series and let Ota and get Otani to a World Series, I think his shit will skyrocket to it's never it's never been before. I gotta go back to like crazy COVID days. Especially if he's like the main reason why they're going to the World Series. If he's like hitting more home runs in the playoffs or just, you know, stealing bases for runs. Yeah. They're they're gonna peak at the World Series, but you probably would have to hope they win it to even get it even more. But yeah. 
And that's what I'm saying. Like, for most players, you know, when they, when they hit their peak in their card market, it's always best to sell them because, again, they would have to do a lot more to get back to that peak. And for Otani's sake, I mean, he's won MVPs, you know. He's going to win another one, you know. But I think what people want to see is can he get the big one and win a World Series? And I think at that point, yeah. I'm not saying Miltani's on a long-term hold because he definitely could be. been throwing some bullpen sessions, Rex, and I don't, I think medically they would clear him, and he could pitch if he really wanted to, whoa, sorry guys, I mean, I hate that they don't cover anymore, but how about an Ichiro, popular demand, and that's going to go to the Miami Marlins, nice, going to DY, but um, he is throwing bullpen sessions now, I mean, I think medically he, he would be cleared by then. But I don't think the Dodgers want to put him in there. But imagine if it's like, you know, ninth inning and you ran out of pitchers and to win the World Series. And he's like, Dave, put me in there. I can pitch. I mean, what are you going to do? Not put him in there? <laughs> Marcus Simeon, though. Patch autograph. We've got a bonus hit. So, actually, we might not have two encased autos. We might only have one. I don't know. I don't think they want him to pitch. But if it came down through it. You're gonna do say no. I mean, look what he did for the World Baseball Classic. He came in a pitch. Granted, of course, he wasn't injured at the time, but. I highly doubt it, but it would be a fun scenario, wouldn't it be? <laughs> That'd be a really cool scenario to see. Shaw is like, put me in, coach. Ty Cobb. Oh, snap. Marcus Simeon is a Texas Ranger. Let's go into Evan. Rio. Oh snap, Juan Soto for the Yankees. And we have a frozen ropes to 25, Evan Carter. We actually hit his red yesterday. Other than that for Evan and the Rangers. Another O snap. Juan Soto. All right, so what's the normal card here? Willie Adamas for the Brewers to 150. Chris Butler, last ball mojo. We got to go old oh, Zach Nieto for the Angels going to Chris Butler as well to 50. And a Lubov for the White Sox going to Joseph. To 99. All right, first one here. K. Gray, uh, Gray Kessinger to 50 for the Houston Astros. It's going to I. We got a Juan Soto, 1 out of 25. Orange for the Yankees. That's going to Joe Lawson. We have a Kodai Senga to 99 purple for the Mets. Going to Joseph. We have a Randy Rosarani uncirculated there for the Tampa Bay Rays. Going to Jeff Walker. And we have a Nick Castellanos for the Phillies, uncirculated. Going to the Phillies and Jason K. And then we got a, another Olevius 
Uh, autograph this time to 25 for the Tampa Bay Rays going to Jeff Walker. So, yeah, we got a bonus patch auto, so did not get the extra encased auto. Alrighty guys, so after this break, we have two hours left to sell out the composite break, and the next one is down to six, guys. And then we can give away $1,000 in break for you guys. Let's do it. Frozen Ropes, David Ortiz. Oh snap, Pico Armstrong. And then we got a Tristan Casas Frozen Ropes to 50 for Boston. That's going to Josh Bruce. All right, guys. Did you really, Zach? Nice, man. And I'm telling you, dude, right? Isn't it basically all color? Like, minus just one refractor? I mean, that's why it's a little bit more expensive than uh, than the hobby version. Ozzy Albies to 50. For the Braves. And then we got a nice Kyle Tugger to 5. 5 of 5 for the Houston Astros. Going to I. There you go. Austin Hayes to 150. Yeah, all color, and I got a green to five, I think. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, man. Ultimate Orioles. Let's do it, guys. Just the composite breaks. That's it. Greg Kessinger to 75. Well, I'd love to see some here, man. We're close. Isaiah Campbell to 150. And we're close to giving away some money, guys. Don't leave money on the table for the Red Sox there. Isaiah Campbell. All right, and then the patch autograph here was a Nolan Gorman for the St. Louis Cardinals, Matthew Wood. All right, here we go, guys. First one here is Marcus Simeon. It's going to go to the Texas Rangers, uncirculated. That's going to go to Evan. And then we got Emerson Hadcock for Seattle going to Victor Sullivan. Autograph. We have a Evan Carter for Texas. And what the hell? Another Emerson Hancock. Oh, man. Well, Victor, good luck. Congrats, but I want two of the same guy in the same box. Come on, man. 
Jose Soriano to 25. We hit the super factor of this earlier. And what the hell? George Kirby, another pitcher there for the Seattle Mariners. Well, a couple of nice little circular for you there. All right. Well, to be honest, guys, some nice stuff in this first half, but the second half should be a lot better, honestly. Uh, I feel like we got some cool stuff, cool low-numbered colors, but each row is nice. And I'm not trying to downplay it so much, but I feel like the second half should be pretty, pretty good. Now we did get the Shohei there. I mean, we did get that one on one super factor, but I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of let down a little bit. So, second half is in the store, guys. And again, you guys here uh, that are in this break, if we do sell out those composites, guys, which again, like I said, we are down to 6 and 11 left, 16 total spots away. Uh, we'll give away that break credit. And you guys in Pikachu number three were part of that. So, I'll put you guys in there, guys. And pristine. Number three. So just two more breaks, guys. Let's do it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.